said it, but it was God. I don't know who said it. I'm saying it. it. Yeah. You know, you got people out there to take. Well, don't worry about the cameras. Well, don't worry about the cameras. If I was yelling at you, then you know. You yelling at me right now? You are raising your voice? No, my voice is loud already. You trying to show off because you a bitch. You a bitch. But I've been doing time since I was. I can't tell. I've been doing time since you was a baby. Okay. Doing no time. Time means I've been working here. That ain't doing time. Okay, so you coming off like this, you ain't doing nothing. I'm like this all the time. So if you want to step, step. I'll leave step. Here. There you go. Step. Give me some gloves. Let me take this room down right here. My house is right there. I'm gonna shake this house down. My house right there. I'm gonna shake this house down. Shake my house. No, 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 no. You said you wanted to step, you step. You walked off. So now let me do my business. He was just showing off just to show off. That's <coughs> what he was doing. Right. So that that raised alarms right there. Then he, when he was trying to direct me to go to his bunk, then I know something's up. Here's that, bro. Huh? Oh, where you found that at? Shoe. Actually, whose shoes? Uh, I don't know whose shoes they are. What shoe was it? Those shoes right there. Put it back in the shoes. Take the shoes. Take the whole thing. We confiscate the whole thing. See the bumping of his gun. Got his buddy lit up. That's a good one, dog. That's a good one, bro. That's a good one. Neil, it's the last time I ask you to go to your unit. This enemy is one of my troublemakers in this spot. Actually, the biggest one. I found a cigarette butt outside his window, so I thought I'd maybe check his bunk and see what I could find. See if there's anything else that I had. Something, some treasure. You don't mind waiting in the day room, Neil? Where's the lighter? We ain't gonna find the lighter if we get off. Where's the lighter? Is that normal? Because it's almost like he's kind of counting you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're trying to make you feel uncomfortable. They're trying to make you quit. This is Sergeant Arteaga. I need you to come here. Food party for restraint, sir. I'm going to tell you one more time. You need to come here. Food party for restraint or chemical agents will be deployed at this time. Actually, he took about two and a half cans of mace, and he wasn't complained. <coughs> you, you know, I've never really seen an inmate do that. Usually, when you spray, they, they give up right away. But the dude was drenched in, in, in mace, and he handled it. Obviously, it was not, not effective to him. Wow. We're going to go in. Stack it here. <laughs> okay. Just They served dinner. Um, I guess a couple inmates trashed the pot. The hell's all this? They passed out styrofoam trays. 
last night for dinner and decided they wanted to be lazy and not come pick them up. You leave that food sit overnight. That little box is our living space for years. And so it's important that we don't have bugs and roaches and stuff like that. So we crushed them down, threw them under the door. That's our way of saying you back. Now we get the last laugh. We get to sit back and say, how do you like that? Thanks for telling me how to do my job. Appreciate it. I'm gonna need you on the shotgun right now. Okay. So this guy decides to act stupid, I want you to shoot off. Get him around. Try to wait. Ready? Back him up. They've been acting stupid since last night. Keep it at Lorraine, you don't point it out at anyone yet, though. A lot of these guys are in here for murder. One little slip and an inmate can take control of everything. Open three. Here we go. Yeah, just be careful. I hope he doesn't do something stupid. Once he sees they take all of his stuff out of his cell, he's gonna start going crazy. Put you back in there. Try not to a little bit of advice when, a, when any individual wearing a uniform gives you a directive, you follow that directive. You understand? Whose stuff is this? He's cleaning his house. It's all wet. Is he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Calm down, dude. I don't consider myself tough, but I'm not afraid to be tough if I need to be. Which one's your bed? Well, Which one's your bed? Right here, go for it. The top one? We'll shake yours out next. Go for it. Help, help, help. Can I help you out? No, I got it. Since I need to calm down, I'll work on yours. All right, fine. What's that? Don't even do that when they're not even here. <laughs> I always remain scared when I'm here, you know, because anything can happen. We're outnumbered all day long. Which which one's your bed? Uh, 141. Go for it. All day long. Stay there all day. Please, all day. So you can actually say you got your paycheck worth it today. C cuss at me again. I'm going to write you up. I didn't cuss at you. I stopped myself. I got a job to do. Well, then go do your job. I am going to do please. my job, but stop okay, cussing go. at me. OK. I have zero tolerance for that. Well, I got zero You're not tolerance tell me. for you doing this That's my job. Then go do your this, job this and leave me alone. You're coming up to me. So go you need to walk away. I'm not going to walk away. You need to walk away. This is where I live, dude. OK, this is where I work. You can exactly. follow my rules. Work, live. All right, let me finish this, and we'll be writing you up next. For what? Yeah, nothing. Hey, where's your guys' bunks at? Could you just stand by it? Because I don't want you sitting there staring at me while we do our search. There's no need for it. They're trying to test and see if I'll say something, if um, I'll let the rules slide. Thank you, sir. They kind of try to push the, the boundaries a little bit and see what I'm comfortable letting them get away with. I don't even know what you're talking about. Can you please come down to A-Dorm uh, and uh, give me some assistance, please? On our way. He came up here very aggressively, so I called it for the sergeant to come down, and I could see it kind of turning a little bit. What what cores were you talking about? We just did our shakedowns right now. When he came back, he was upset. I just thought they took my cable splitters. Okay. Hey, to me. I didn't want anything to, to pop off and, you know, you guys be having a rush. Uh, I apologize, guys. Sorry, man, I found it. Somebody borrowed it, right? Sorry. <laughs> Are you going to take me seriously? Hey, I look like I'm 12 years old. My biggest fear is not going home to my wife. Sooner or later, you're going to have to go face your fear. Put the weapon 
down. That's what we do every day.